Hi everybody, it's Deanna with ToolsOfEnergyProtection.com, your energy shift expert, where I show you how to navigate the energies to promote your life in the healthiest way. <laughs> uh, hi everybody, it is uh, Wednesday, uh, June the 6th, and there are so many shifts going on as normal on our planet. And right now, today, um, I've noticed several different things, so I thought I'd jump on real quick and do a live broadcast to tell you what's going on. So hang on, because here we go. So uh, where the energies are right now, it, it's uh, this spectrum of support. So right now, a lot of people are being supported in their journey. They're going forward, they're taking steps, they're looking at their inner game or their inner self, and there may be some feelings of uneasiness as you walk forward because this is a brand new territory. When you look out there, you see this big bright light, this big blank screen to write on. Um, and that is where we are right now. The planet has opened everything up so that we as a collective and individuals can write our script about where we're going. So uh, if you choose to take the homework, step one is to think about what you desire and write your script out because it's manifesting faster than ever now. What else is going on on the planet um, is that uh, there's, a, there's a spectrum of two different people that I've been seeing uh, coming to me in my client base and one of them is people who are extremely agitated, people that are feeling extremely weird and not sleeping well. And uh, many people tell me they wake up feeling exhausted, they feel like they've known that they were um, dreaming about something but they weren't sure, they felt like they were kind of off world or off planet and they were resolving things and those that can remember remember key players about you know maybe it's a relative or a friend and there might have been some heated discussions and things being resolved so if that's going on for you know that that is part of your journey and your conscious and subconscious and super conscious minds are coming together with spirit with God and resolving a lot of old issues that require resolving so that you can move forward into this new, beautiful, divine space that's being provided, this blank sheet um, of paper for us to write our future on. And um, the other energy that keeps coming up a lot is I have some highly motivated uh, individuals who are usually business owners uh, telling me that they feel so unmotivated. They know what they need to do. They've mapped out their steps. They've mapped out their plans. They're not exhausted from overworking. They just aren't feeling it. Well, that's a part of the energy that's going on as well right now is not feeling it, feeling not motivated. And the reason for that is because in the past, the energy has been push, 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 pushing us forward. Do this, do this, do this, do this. And now it's like a reprieve. It's like a, a, a letting go of sorts. And we're being asked to walk forward on our own without that huge surge, without that huge push uh, behind us. So we have the ability to just walk forward uh, in whatever way we choose or desire. So that's what's happening right now on the energy shifts. And I'd really like to hear back from you either in the comments below or private message me or send me an email um, about how are you doing right now? How are things looking uh, for you right now where you are in your journey? Um, and some announcements. Um, this Sunday, um, I will be starting the Spiritual Level 1 class, and it will be live, and it will be via uh, a broadcast like this. Um, you will receive a uh, address to join me on a webinar, and it will be only available to those people that choose to join the class, and that's on toolsofenergyprotection.com. Click on classes slash live events and hover over that, and there will be a space there uh, where you can sign up for the class if you choose and it starts this Sunday so you'll want to get signed up right away to, to uh, do that and we're going to talk about spiritual gifts and how to recognize them and how to talk to your guidance um, and let me get the uh, list of what we're going to be doing there 
Okay, so on the first one, we're going to talk about how to create a safe space so that you can make this connection and you know that you're connecting to God's spirit or source or your guides and not the dark side or the other side. Um, and you're going to begin to understand how to develop your spiritual self. Um, and then later we'll go down, uh, uh, sorry, we'll go to lesson two and we'll learn about how to access your spiritual gifts and so on. So if you're really interested, now is the time where we are in space and time in this planet, there's so much fear uh, mongering going on. If you uh, take a moment and you turn on that television um, or you look at the news, you're going to discover that there's a lot of negative energy being pumped out on the airwaves right now. Um, you uh, will be challenged to find something that's actually positive on the news. Um, right now and that's because where we are in space and time the elevation of negative energy and the elevation of positive energy are rocking back and forth as we go forward in space and time and the idea is that the light will come up so that this ride won't be as wobbly and we can go into that new paradigm faster so if you're feeling uneasy and you're like oh I'm really anxious I'm I have spiritual gifts and I've been wanting to use them and I just can't stand it anymore ah! <laughs> that's your call <laughs> wake up it's time so whether you choose to join me and take this spiritual level one class or you have a different teacher or mentor that you would like to access I encourage you go do it now is the time the planet needs the light it needs people to pull in that beautiful divine love and flow it out in the universe that's what's needed right now. That's why you're receiving a call or a stirring up inside. And if you say, Deanna, I'm not sure that I can commit to doing it, why not? Why not now, right? So just so you know, this is gonna be taught on the internet. So you'll get access to the room and you'll come on the internet and I will be teaching the class live. And it's six lessons. And if you go to toolsofenergyprotection.com and click on level one spiritual class actually it's under classes live events it'll give you an opportunity to sign up for a webinar that's free it's 20 minutes and it will tell you more detail about the class and give you two of my secrets on how i got this far and then you can join the class the classes will be recorded and they will be available to you later if you miss a class. So take the risk, move forward and go for it and join me and really allow yourself to open up into the divine love and flowing that love to the planet and to those around you and fulfilling your purpose if you feel called. If you don't feel called, that's okay too. So just so you know, I will be available for single one-to-one -one sessions if that's what you prefer. Um, on my website, you can click under contact and there's a place for sessions and so you can always sign up to do that right online and we can do FaceTime or we can do Skype or we can just do the phone. And this coming up Thursday, which is tomorrow and Friday, I will be live in Denver doing one-to-one -one appointments at For Heaven Sakes Books in Denver. If you need the address or if you need the phone number, that's also available on my website. So I hope that you will join me in one of those places. But in the meantime, again, the current vibration, the current support system of the energies of this planet are really asking people, where do you stand? Where are you? Are you in the fear vibration? Are you in the love vibration? And those two are rocking back and forth. And the people um, that are in charge of the vibration of fear are really putting it out there. And the collective consciousness is really getting bombarded. So if you're feeling anxious or weird or agitated, that may be why. So you, you balance your energy field and you Pull the love in and surround yourself with it so that you can navigate the energy that's out there that's not so positive. That's where we are. So if you have questions and you're on Facebook, you can either private message me the question or put it right down here uh, in the text and I'll answer you just as soon as I can. Um, uh, what else did I note? Oh yes, oh and other people are feeling really unmotivated. Uh, and that uh, right now is happening quite a bit where I'm seeing that, that dynamic of people are really agitated or anxious 
or they're really feeling not motivated. And just again, to, to reiterate what's happening is the universe has opened up this huge blank page and it said, where are you going right now? Uh, about um, a year ago, uh, one of my friends gave me a journal and I opened it up and it's full of blank pages and she said, write your life write your life every single day and at the time I thought wow that's kind of interesting I usually journal what happened to me and uh, keep track of that so I can grow and change and recently I've been thinking the universe has opened up to us this beautiful book to write our own future you can actually write it you can manifest it you can create it so be careful what you write take a Let's see if I have any. Yes, here. <laughs> Take a blank piece of paper and a pen or a pencil and write your life out. Where are you going? What do you desire? What energy do you want to live in? Do you want to live in fear? And what's interesting um, is on the microcosm, uh, that's your day-to-day -day life. You know, getting up in the morning, creating your energy, creating your abundance, creating your love lives, uh, conflict resolution, whatever you're doing. But on the macrocosm, all of our individual energies come collectively and they roll us forward in space and time and in the universe. And there's some scientific theory about how out here there's uncreated energy, uncharted energy. And us as a planet, we, in a universe, we push that energy along and we determine how it's being created. So ask yourself, am I going to be positive? Or am I not going to control my life at all and just kind of roll along with whatever comes up every day? That is one way to, to live, but there are better ways. So today I ask you to take a stand for yourself. Choose your future. And it doesn't matter where you came from. I would like for you to know that. It doesn't matter where you came from. It doesn't matter your past. It really doesn't. There are some things in the 3D world, remember this is the 3D world, the clay pot we live in, um, that we may have done. So, you know, if you, if you made a choice and the 3D world says, up, oh, you got to pay for that choice, you, you know, we don't like what you did, you didn't do it within certain confines. An easy example would be like if your bill was due on the 10th and you didn't pay it on the 10th and they tack on a late fee, you might gripe and moan and complain, but you know what? That's their rules. That's the 3D world. Now you got to pay that penalty. But does that mean that you have to drag that neg negativity into your future? No, it does not. What it means is you have a chance to make a different choice. You can put that bill on your calendar for next month and know when it comes due so that you're aware of it and you can manifest the abundance you need to meet that bill. But like I said, it's a very simple example. Some of us have other things in our past. Um, like you may have a um, um, some sort of a mark on your on your history, so uh, you know perhaps you had a run in with the law, and now that's a mark on your history. Um, I have some people that I know that are going through that. Well, you can use that as a negative charge to carry yourself forward, or you can say, "How can God's spirit or source bless me where I find myself right now and propel me forward and make my life better, or help me to be a light?" to others and that's the other thing I wanted to tell you that I'm working on releasing my very first book Woohoo! it's coming up it's so exciting I started uh, reading the different chapters and putting some finishing touches on it and it's going to talk a little bit about my past and how I got propelled into this future and sharing the divine love and there are a few people that think I walk this wonderful happy joyous life which I do but it you know, there are things that I have to work with that I either were, was born into or I chose along the way. Maybe not happy choices, but you can take those energies, propel yourself forward, create a better life, right the wrongs, if you will, and make amends with the people that you didn't do what you could have done or in the case of the bill, pay the late fee and make a different choice going forward. So that's where it's at. Write your new future. Write what you desire, ask God's spirit or source for it, and walk boldly forward. And right now, if you have spiritual gifts, if you have clear sight, clear knowing, uh, prophecy, um, the ability to spread light to others, to help other people to heal, please, by all means, embrace it. 
bring the light into the here and now and walk forward in your life and share the love. Um, if you see somebody that's having a hard time, reach out to them and show them kindness and show them love in the best way you can. But of course, in wisdom, you want to have boundaries. <laughs> I don't want anybody to drain you. So again, I'll be at the For Heaven's Sakes book in Denver. Um, uh, tomorrow, which is Thursday. If you don't live in Denver, you can call in uh, there. Um, I'll be there on Friday. Uh, that's a special day, so you'll have to come into the store for the special. Um, my class starts this Sunday. If you haven't registered yet, toolsofenergyprotection.com under uh, live events uh, class and there will be a link there for you uh, to sign up. You have to, uh, there's a link for the uh, webinar which is free um, and gives you a couple of my free uh, tools of how I got started. Gives you a little extra head start. And then of course my book is coming up so I'll be announcing that. It'll be an ebook hopefully so you can get a copy. Um, uh, as it comes out. Anyway, have a great and wonderful day. If you know of anybody who is spiritually gifted, uh, who is feeling the anxiety, who needs the help, please either go down here if you're on Facebook and type their name in so that they'll get it in their feed or uh, share it to them in a private message if you feel uh, the need to do so. Um, or just let them know that we're right here, there's help available, and I'm sending big hugs and love to everybody. Mm -hmm. Have a happy and wonderful Wednesday, and I will see you here later.